Hello, this is progressions and series lesson 2.3. In this, I will discuss questions on AP. Before going to question, don't forget the three C's. First C is a concept. You have to understand the concept concepts in a simplified manner. Second is common sense and simple logic. And third is very important calculation and simplification speed must be fast. So let's discuss questions. First question is a uh, 1 plus 6 plus 11 plus 16 up to x. Now this is x. We don't know which term is this. Total sum is given to us 148. So I will assume that this x is the nth term. Nth term I will assume that this x. Now the sum is given to us as 148. We need to find the value of x. We know that sum of first 10 terms is equal to n by 2 first term plus last term. Uh, we know that sum of first 10 terms is 148 and we don't know n by 2. First term we know that is 6 and the last term is x. So cross multiply you get 296. This you must multiply verbally. 148 into 2 is 296. This is n into 1 plus x. Now how to solve it further? Now again you have to apply your common sense. The second method I told you for success in aptitude exam. Now can I say that 1 n would be how much 296 upon 1 plus x break this 296 can i say 296 is divisible by 4 i am breaking this 296 can i say this is equal to 8 into 37 by 1 plus x now n we know that are number of terms n we know that that are number of terms number of terms will always be an integer it means that this 8 into 37 must be divisible by 1 plus x we, we have given options. We will use the options. Options are 41, 36, 31 and 46. By common sense, if you put x is equal to 36, if x is equal to 36, you will get 1 plus x as 37. And that will be divisible and you will get n, the number of terms as integer. So by common sense, x is 36. If you put x as 41, 1 plus x will be 42. This will not be divisible same way for other option oh, so this will become 8 into 37 put the value of x so 37 so number of terms are 8 so we got x as 36 is our final answer second question is the ratio of sum of first n terms of 2 ap 2 ap's is given to you the sum of n terms the ratio is given to us we need to find the ratio of their 12th term we know that n terms the sum of n terms is n by 2 first ap this is 2a1 i am assuming that the first term of first ap is a1 number of terms n minus 1 into d1 this first ap second ap is 2a2 plus n minus 1 into d2 i am assuming that in second ap the common difference is d2 in first ap it's d1 first terms are a1 and a2 number of terms are n the ratio of the sum of n terms of first AP and second AP is given to you. This is 3n plus 8 divided by 7n plus 5. This ratio is given to us. What we need to calculate? We need to calculate the ratio of their 12th term. 12th term for first AP would be 12th term would be a1 plus 11d1. Second AP a2 plus 11d2. And that is what we need to calculate the ratio of their 12th term. So can I say first n by 2 n by 2 will get cancelled out we need this we need a1 plus 11 d1 a2 plus 11 d2 but whatever i have i have 2 a1 so i will convert this into a1 so i will divide numerator and denominator by 2 divide numerator and denominator by 2 you will get a1 plus n minus 1 by 2 d1 a2 n minus 1 by 2 d2 nothing will happen on the right hand side because if you divide both numerator and denominator by 2 the fraction will remain same now see our requirement we need a1 plus 11 d1 a2 plus 11 d2 what should i put n minus 1 by 2 so that it becomes 11 can i say that my n minus 1 by 2 if it comes 11 if i put n minus 1 by 2 as 11 i will get my requirement because I need a1 plus 11 d1, a2 plus 11 d2. So I am putting n minus 1 by 2 is equal to 11 as per my requirement. So I am getting 
ए वन प्लस इलेवन डी वन ए टू प्लस इलेवन डी टू आई गोट माई रिक्वायरमेंट दैट इज द रेशो वाई आई नीड इट सो एन माइनस वन बाय टू इज इलेवन एन माइनस वन वुड बी ट्वेंटी टू कैन ए से एन वुड बी ट्वेंटी थ्री पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ एन ट्वेंटी थ्री दिस वॉज थ्री एन प्लस एट सेवन एन प्लस फाइव आई नो द वैल्यू ऑफ एन नाउ एन द एन इज ट्वेंटी थ्री देन ओनली आई विल गेट ए वन प्लस इलेवन डी वन ए टू प्लस इलेवन डी टू पुट एन इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री यू विल गेट योर आंसर दिस ट्वेंटी थ्री इंटू थ्री विल बी सिक्सटी नाइन प्लस एट दिस ट्वेंटी थ्री इंटू सेवन वन सिक्सटी वन प्लस फाइव यू विल गेट सिक्सटी नाइन प्लस एट यू विल गेट सेवेंटी सेवन दिस विल बी वन सिक्सटी सिक्स दैट विल बी योर फाइनल आंसर हेर इज इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ऑफ द सीरीज इट मैक्सिमम वैल्यू नो You can see that the terms are decreasing somewhere down the line. The term will become negative. Now we don't have to take the negative terms because we need to calculate the maximum value. Maximum value will come only if we take the positive terms of this series. So first we will find at where the negative term will come. Look at the series very carefully. First term A is a seventy. D the common difference. Second term minus first term d the common difference t n minus t n minus one. It means you can take second term minus first term. This common difference is minus six. Now, how to find where the term will start becoming negative? Now I will uh, can I say series is like this. Series is seventy minus six k. This is kind of series because. We are decreasing six every time. If k is equals to zero, why? How I got seventy minus six? Because this is by common sense. Because the terms are decreasing by six every time. So seventy minus six k. If k is zero, you will get term number one, that is seventy. If k is one, you will get seventy minus six into one, sixty-four. Term number two, you will get sixty-four. That is a pattern. Now. Check by heat and trial where we will get the term negative term. We will where where we will start getting negative term. I am putting k is equals to ten. K is equals to ten. I will get the eleventh term because k one you are getting second term, k zero you are getting first term. So k ten you will get by common sense eleventh term. Term is one more than the value of k. So eleventh term would be how much? K ten. Can I say this? Seventy minus sixty. This is ten. So ten eleventh term will be ten. Twelfth term would be minus six. Eleven ten minus six that would be four. Thirteenth term this will be four minus six minus two. I don't need to include this because that will make my sum less. I need to find the maximum value of sum. So I will add first twelve terms. I will add first twelve terms because after twelve terms the series will become negative. So my first term I know that is seventy and the Last term I will consider as twelfth term. This is four. After this, the series will become negative. Now I know the sum of first twelve terms. I will count the only first twelve terms, and that will give me the maximum sum because after this the series is getting negative. I know that sum of first twelve terms is equals to twelve by two n by two first term plus last term that is t twelve. So I will get six. First term is seventy, and the last term is four. So six into seventy four, the four forty four will be your final answer. Question number four: If the twelfth term of an AP is twenty three seven by nine twenty nine, this is a mixed fraction. I have written like this: twenty three seven by twenty nine. This is a mixed fraction. And the sixty fourth term is one thirty six twenty. This is the twelfth term is given to you. Sixty fourth term. T sixty four. This is given to you one thirty six. This is one thirty six. Twenty two by twenty nine. Now we need to find the sum of first seventy five terms. We know that sum of seventy five terms will be equal to seventy five by two. Term number one plus term number last seventy five terms. But I don't know first and seventy five. But I I also told you in the basics that you can calculate. It would be T twelve plus T sixty four also, because the pattern I told you that the sum of term numbers must be n plus one. 
here term sum of term numbers 1 plus 75 is 76 that is n plus 1 here also t 12 plus 64 the sum of term number is 76 which is equal to n plus 1 because number of terms are 75 here n is 75 number of term of 75 n plus 1 is 76 so sum of term number should be n plus 1 which is the case in both the cases uh, so I, I know the terms I can find the answer 75 by 2 12th term is 23 7 by 29 64th term is 136 22 by 29 now how to add this in school the student used to cram they used to cram when I say miss fraction 3 4 by 5 they cram it like this this is 5 into 5 into 3 plus 4 but this is a cramming you can't solve 136 22 by 29 like this 136 into 29 plus 22 that will take a lot of time so that's a wrong way to understand very important most of students don't know the how to simplify the mixed fraction so mixed fraction 3 4 by 5 is always equals to 3 plus 4 by 5 if you take the LCM you will get the same answer so can I say that what I need to calculate my question was this 75 by 2 23 7 by 29 plus 136 22 by 29 how I will simplify this is simply 75 by 2 23 plus 7 by 29 very important 136 plus 22 by 29 simplify this you will get 75 by 2 23 plus 136 this you will can add straight away numbers 23 plus 136 136 plus 20 would be 156 plus 3 159 plus 7 by 29 and 22 by 29 you add the base is same this will become 29 by 29 that is 1 you can see that how simply we, we have sold this so 75 by 2 this is you are getting 160 multiply this 75 into 80 and you know that 75 into 80 answer would be 6000 because 8 into 75 is 600 so in this way you can solve these kind of question in the faster manner so final answer is 6000 so that was all about lesson 2.3 questions on AP I will continue with more questions on AP in the next lesson. Thank you.